My next guest here at the IWBHF induction ceremony today is Miss Deidre Gogarty. Now, Deidre, you grew up in Ireland, and it wasn't easy for a young girl like you to enter the sport of boxing, I'm sure. What did you have to do to convince everyone that you wanted to be a boxer? Well, it was very difficult. Um, you know, women weren't even allowed in boxing gyms just to watch the training, never mind actually participate in the training. So it was very difficult. It took a lot of convincing, but I just uh, figured if I worked really hard and I was very good technically that I would be more accepted into the community. But uh, actually, I was never accepted because they never legalized women's boxing in Ireland. So I had to leave the country. And now it is accepted. In fact, Ireland has an Olympic gold medalist, Katie Taylor. So it's amazing to see, you know, 15, 20 years later how it's completely changed. So you were probably the, the very first to make a name in boxing from Ireland. And now it's led to a gold medal winner for your country. Yes, yes. So it's pretty awesome. My coach, Pat McCormick, used to always say, you know, you're opening the door for ladies, you know, 5, 10, 15 years behind you. And I'm like, well, I don't want to, uh, you know, just open the doors. I want them open for me, too. You know, I don't want to <laughs> be too late, you know. But uh, thankfully, you know, big things happened for women's boxing in the late 90s. And, you know, it, 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 it got there and it made huge changes all these years later. You had a six and a half year career, is that correct? As a yeah, about boxer? seven years of actual competing, but I spent the first four trying to get a match and the last four trying to get a match. So, you know, uh, it's uh, a lot more training, just less time actually in the ring. Mm -hmm. Well, after all that work that you did, becoming a fighter, being the fighter, and now you've been selected to join the International Women's Boxing Hall of Fame. What was your first initial reaction, uh, reaction to that? When you heard about um, it. Oh, I was thrilled and, and surprised because, you know, you, it's so it seems so long ago. It You know, it seems like another lifetime. You kind of assume people kind of forget about you. Um, and, you know, the fact to be remembered and honored this way, it's just so flattering and just a wonderful feeling. Women's boxing has come a long way then since you started. And even before that, we have a few inductees who fought many years before you. Do you see the growth of it going in a positive direction all along, or do you think there should be a lot more added to it that will make it bloom even better? Um, well, I just think it's a pity that, um, you know, so many talented fighters that they don't get more coverage and they don't get on TV more. Uh, you know, I mean, it's such a wonderful sport and there's so much talent. It just seems like they need more exposure. But, you know, women's boxing's here to stay and it will have its uh, day, uh, you know, of glory. You know, it will get all that attention again. You know, things kind of shift around, but everything comes back full circle and, uh you know, it will get the uh, national and international coverage it deserves. Are you still involved in boxing in different yes. ways? Yes, I uh, still coach three days a week, and um, I have a little boy now, eight months old, so it makes it a bit difficult getting to the gym, but uh, I still love to coach. Well, that's great. Well, we want to offer our congratulations to you. Enjoy Thank the you. festivities of the day, and welcome to the International Women's Boxing Hall of Fame as one of its newest members. Thank you. I'm thrilled to be here. And we're glad to have you. Deidre Gogarty, my guest. Thank you, Deidre. Thank you.